Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back with another video, guys. Today, we're going to be touching on the build. It's going to be Poison Orb and uh, Poison Cloud. And if you guys have the necklace, let's, right, let's jump right into it. If you guys have the necklace, you can try this out. All right. So, <clears throat> real quick, uh, please leave a like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments down below for any questions you have. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I appreciate the support. Uh, trying to reach that 1k sub guys uh, if you like the video please uh, give it a try let me know more let me know what you think uh, anything I need to improve welcome and um, I'll take any suggestions okay all right so let's get right into it so I'm using two hand staff uh, brand new two hand staff um, not bad not bad on crafting uh, helmet and then shoulders Armor, gloves, boots, and this is the tier 34 uh, Vesper tiers, uh, transcendent Vesper tiers. Um, what this does is it increases the range of poison orb, uh, though you get one less uh, poison orb chain count, and then two less. Um, you get a minus one and minus two on on chain count. And the minus two is projectile count. All right, so there's ways to stop that. Um, and then you get lots of poison resist. Uh, and then you get about twenty-seven uh, poison damage amplification. You get uh, attack speed and cast speed. And then you get manas on hit, about two mana per hit. Okay. This is the necklace you want uh, for the poison orb skill. And then the belts I have convert mana belts there. Uh, and I have three hoops for some stats, and then uh, the Cresta Refraction. All right, jump into the charms. So I'm doing 230, 230, 140. Okay, so 230 I have is uh, Lil Elisa. Uh, so that's that. This is my charms here. They're not the best. I'm still looking to upgrade. So that covers that. So basically, you're getting uh, projectile damage and convert to elements, and then same thing here with uh, so that's 80% conversion on damage. Right here, 40, and this is another 40. That's 80, uh, and then I have Vesper for the poison damage amp. Okay. Another one you can do is f the four blessings, which is Lil, Elisa, Caster, and Vesper. Okay, so one, two, three, four. You can do four as well, okay. And then Lacrima, Lacrima, I have the uh, Capri, um, Capri Lacrima. Uh, I have the uh, one hand right here, right? So the one hand right here, the damage, fire damage right there, okay. All right, and then uh, now we're gonna go into uh, the mastery. I do nine, ten, ten. Alchemy, all the potions through here, and then relics. Relics, we got Sapdar is the main one. Both skill or spells, and then. Hamal for poison pen, poison damage, caster for area damage, and then boreal. And then now we're going to the zodiac. Zodiac 1, zodiac 2, zodiac 3, zodiac 4. So that five, your Zodiac six, seven, I can take that out, I can take this out. So let's go over seven again, right here, 
and then right here I can take that out too and I'll show you guys where to put that and then there's this finish this up so one two three four um there's, there's that one seven right there I need that lightning and then we can put this three here all right so there's that that's the zodiac oh specialization sorry my mistake brilliance so since I have convert my belt I'll take the cast speed minus resource damp and then six strike right there and then spell crit void and dimension right there and then area damage plus two projectiles so this cancel out the necklace uh, so you're good and then the mana, mana uh, resource cost increase amplification it's canceled out by the uh, the specialized one dampening okay so it can sort that out. Alright. Uh, and then now it looks into the skills. So we got poison orb. Uh, I get the awaken source. You can test them out if you like, but I'm, I want that 50% uh, damage amp versus debuff enemy. Um, right there. You can't go f for origin, but you're getting. Uh, 5% damage hitting some enemy the skill already gives you 10 so that's additional like 20% damage reduction um, for a 6% strike damage a percent that's not even amplified that's just percentage so it's not worth it for my in my opinion uh, you can go for flow and pain you get lots of venom rate uh, And then venom damage and venom duration, you get two percent uh, venom damage amp. Two percent instead of fifteen percent damage amp. So source still looking good for damage wise. Okay. Um, I got unlucky and hit ten percent instead of fifteen, which it's like right in the middle or in the beginning. So you want to hit the fifteen. Yeah. So you want to hit the 15. And then uh, the skill is done, explained. And then Poison Cloud, uh, pretty straightforward. Poison Cloud, got a go source for that 15% poison damage amp uh, right here. 50% poison damage amp is a must. Um, the skill itself does venom damage amp and as well. And it has a damage multiplier against enemy with venom. Uh, the base damage of poison cloud can go up to 800. You can, yeah, go up to like 700, 800, um, 754 percent at level 55. Um, you when you candor and when you put plus three levels on like uh item, uh, this can go up way higher too. Okay. Um, you're getting 200% damage against enemies on top as well. So, yeah, the skills hurts a lot. And then uh, the skills is going to be strike, uh, chain, mana storm, and parallel multi shot. You need both chain and parallel multi shot. You can use multi shot, uh, but I would suggest you to reawaken uh, for the uh, origin, for the um minus five percent uh or minus ten percent ten percent resource cost so you reduce your mana a little bit more so you can increase more cast speed as well um because it does drain a lot of mana uh, and then mana storm and then air effect on both 
again strike elemental damage amp harmony there and then mana storm there so and then movement skill shout provocation release elements uh, I took verity for the enhanced rune effect um, which is much better than recovery or you can play with duration uh, but the you want to in increase the 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 elemental damage percentage amp for four seconds for three seconds you want that value to go up and then uh so condense elements awaken source to become a buff for five seconds so dodge so crit because my crit rate is low uh counter attack for pain effect and convert to fire to get um fire energy which then give me spell uh twenty percent per stack so that's that and then siphon life for um convert mana i mean yeah so convert mana takes hp so siphon life will restore hp um uh on on hit or surrounding um so that's pretty good there too so that's a huge error effect Then Wicked Totem, Linger uh, Enhanced Totem, and Error Totem uh, to the uh, Totem uh, activation upon Enhanced Skill. So when I took this skill, it's on, it will just automatically put Wicked Totem next to the target, which then uh, you do more damage. Uh, origin is the best um, and the best one you get 20% effect and 50% range all right now we're gonna test out the skill I cover everything now we see the skill all right so everything's on mm. let you guys see the skill I think I'm getting reflect. Oh, yep, I got reflect damage map. <laughs> Let me open another one. All right, sorry for the delay, guys. Um, so yeah, pretty sh pretty straightforward. Um, the the main point of this skill is it cannot pierce. So the only way for you to clear a whole map is to put chain link room. Um, so that it can chain through uh, all the monsters. As you can see, each orb is stacking on top of each other, so you're doing damage stacking as well. Um, anything hit with venom will then uh, they get a dot basically damage over time and then poison orb which is poison orb which just um, does its thing and nuke the enemy uh, due to its high percentage uh, strike amplifier or damage amplifier Multiplier. Sorry, excuse me. Multiplier. It's very blinding skill, <laughs> but uh, you like there. But you can see it looks fun. Poison orb used to be a season one skill, 
uh, before the necklace. Um, some people would run it with Woolwind uh, and Poison Warp as secondary. Uh, both skills poison, convert poison to Woolwind. But uh, haven't seen a lot of people use it or play with it or test with it. So I'm doing that today so you guys can see uh, how crazy this skill is. <laughs> yep. Mapping wise, it's really good. Like, really good. It's, let me turn up the graphics for you guys. Again, guys, please leave a like, share, comments, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Uh, greatly appreciate everything, guys. Uh, so far, we, we we're almost there at 1K, um, so that I can monetize the videos and uh, hopefully get a new PC so that everybody can have better graphics and probably branch out to other games that you guys want to see. All right, so that's improved graphics. There we go. Um, my PC is very, very old. <laughs> I I can just say that it's running on uh, 750 graphic card. <laughs> Not the best. So <laughs> you see how blinding the skill is. Uh, but it's very very cool uh, for beginners if you guys wanna push uh, push through maps quickly and clear every single thing without going back it changed through every single thing um, so that it just travels you can stand in one spot like I can stay in one spot You guys don't have to use the two hand staff, but two hand staff has the strongest um, weapons uh, damage in the game. Uh, about a thousand, just normal, no crafted, nothing. So if you can roll one thousand, you're golden. Or if you can get a one thousand one, you're golden. That one sixty five, and then you just craft a bunch of attack damage on there, and damage a percent. And then legendary roll as well. Same thing with um, ancient uh, ancient crafting as well. So that's a lot of damage right there. See how fun this skill is, guys. Um, again, again, I want to keep reminding you guys. Please sub. Uh, please leave a comment if you got questions or suggestions. Uh, more than welcome. Uh, any. Anything you want to ask, uh, please let me know. Uh, go make this bill and give it a try. Alright, that's the end of the video. I appreciate all the support, guys. This is the outro. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video, okay?